Welcome back to our third out of five gold medal matches here today on Championship Sunday at the APP Legacy Open presented by Head Pickleball. Lauren McLaughlin and Dominic Catalano here courtside for our men's pro doubles gold medal match. Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson have one game in their pocket already. They just need one more to get themselves a gold medal. Decklebar and Adam Stone on the far end have some work to do here. See, and this is an issue right here because Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson are laughing. Mm -hmm. And when these two are playing loose, we've mentioned it before, it spells trouble. Capital T-R-U-B-L. Mm-hmm. Trouble. Good counter from Deckel Bar right there, finding the hole in the middle. Yeah, we've seen some really good hands battles in game one already. I expect more of the same here in game two. Deckelbar thought he had an opening down that sideline. Frazier closed it off really quick, but they got in a hands battle, and Deckel comes out on top. Again, this is a must-win game two for Deckel Bar and Adam Stone to stay alive in this gold medal match. tough it's a good read there from JW Johnson or from Deckel Bar but just unfortunately can't get on top of it quick enough another good poach there from Johnson but just like we saw in game one doesn't pan out how he wants it to Tries to drop that in about as cross court as you can get. One, one, one. Oh, the it's hands, off, yep. It's little. off the tape though, mm -hmm. just a little bit bar there, but just that little tip off the tape. Throws him off just enough. Johnson did such a great job covering for Frazier, who was just a hair late coming up to the kitchen from his switch. And that one into the stands. Off Ducklebar's paddle. Another really great hand exchange as well. A little inspection of our new ball and back into play.
So a little tougher on that side to lob because the wind's at their back. Frazier dropped a couple lobs in in the first game, but hits that ball on the same pace, same trajectory, but wind at their back is going to take that a little long. And I think he'll probably think twice now about attempting that lob from this end. Nice battle there, won by Deckelbar and Adam Stone. Tied this game up at two. Both teams, as I mentioned before, they're being so deliberate about when they attack. You can almost sense when it's coming. The second a ball is left up just a little too high, you can sort of anticipate that that's when they're going to start the speed up into that hands battle. Tied at twos. Big forehand there from Deckel Barr and a quick side out back to Stone and Barr. See if they can jump out in front here in game two. Just watching Johnson and Frazier twirling their paddles. <laughs> Just how nonchalant, relaxed both of these players are. Good little flick there from Johnson. I think it would have dropped in if Stone had let that go by. But again, right at his upper body kind of forces him into an awkward attempt at that. Again, off the tape right there. And they get a little net love again. Stone and Barr frustrated because it seems like Johnson and Frazier are getting every one of those balls off the tape. Job by Stone. You saw him back up there, anticipating the speed up from Johnson, which he handles. But we have a timeout now from Stone and Barr as they are down 4 2 here in game two. And again, a must win game two situation for Barr and Stone. What have you noticed um, in the second game? that they need to tighten up a little bit more. It's really not too much, right? They're just coming out on the short end of some of these points. They're right in and it's only 4-2. But in a game like this, again, a two-point lead seems like it's a big lead because they just keep trading side outs back and forth. Stone and Barr just need to stay in it. I'd like to see them try and ISO JW out a little more, keep the ball away from him. He's the one speeding things up. When Dylan Frazier's doing that, it's in front of Deckel Barr. So Deckel's a lot, very or very comfortable and ready for that speed up. So I'd like to see them just kind of try and focus on Dylan Frazier a little more, see what he can do to hurt you. All right, in from the timeout, Frazier and Johnson serving 4-2-1. Switch from them. Nice work by Adam Stone. As it looked like he gotten himself into some trouble, but works his way out, 
plays off the kitchen line. It's again that backhand slap winner. Oh, it stays in. Nice job there from Adam Stone again. Two good points and constructed from Adam Stone. Down that back line. We like to talk about the player's ready position. Adam Stone's ready position is paddle at his side. But works for him. Still some of the quicks hands out there. Bar serve just a little off today. Again, still living and dying by it right now. But he's had about three or four mistakes on it so far. Oh, nice gets from Stone. <laughs> yeah, great work from Adam Stone. As wow. it looked like he was dead to rights. Yeah, but works I thought his there's way. no way they come out on top of this, but they do. Works his way from the baseline to transition all the way up. Great job by Adam Stone. Just wide from Dylan Frazier, and there it is. That's the stone and bar strategy right there. Suck them into a slower game. They get the side out. See if they can capitalize. And that's the issue with Deco Bar driving right now is that J.W. Johnson's reading it so well that he's coming in and not blocking it. He's countering it and countering it with a lot of pace. Again, another net cord that stays in for Johnson and Frazier. And a timeout called by Johnson. Or, uh, excuse yeah. me, I thought it was by no, Johnson. JW called that timeout. Almost eh, kind of an odd it was timeout. Weird. It was very weird. Point, they just, they just came out on top of that. Yeah, and JW calls that timeout. So. We'll see what happens here, but JW calling that timeout right here up 4 2. The mysterious mind of JW Johnson continues. Correct. <laughs> Again, Vivian David and Sarah David there, of course, cheering on, supporting Stone and Barr. Vivian David waiting for her match coming up next, our women's doubles gold medal match. Her and partner Andrea Coop take on Sarah Ansbury and Susanna Barr. And we'll see her and Deco Bar back again for the final gold medal match of Championship Sunday, our mixed doubles. They take on Lee Whitwell and J.W. Johnson. Oh, wow, great hands by Dylan Frazier. We had been stuck at 4-2 for quite a few exchanges, so Frazier and Johnson finally break off. Hoping to get a little momentum rolling, and they are. Stucco Bar go to that inside out forehand. You got to look for him to pull. And JW Johnson and Dylan Frazier know that. Look for these two young guys to start to get and feel. Yeah, I think they'll get a little more aggressive here. Right. We usually, especially see JW Johnson 
when he senses the end is near. He kind of turns it on a little bit, gets a little more aggressive. JW, he recognizes Stone backs up off that kitchen line. He's back in the transition zone, and he takes advantage of that. Eight to two here in game two. Johnson and Frazier closing in on a gold medal. Yeah, and now they're just starting to speed things up and mm -hmm. sensing. They can taste that gold medal right now as they are up 9-2 in game two in total control here. We'll see what Deckel Barr and Adam Stone have in store after this timeout as they burn one here. Yeah, Barr obviously not happy. The frustration starting to show here. And of course, in game one we were talking about, the score ends up being 11-5, but the actual play was so much closer. Bar and Stone just really struggled to come out on top of rallies on their serve. So they weren't able to translate the rallies. They did win into points on the board, but the play was very close. This game two, Johnson and Frazier feeling definitely a little bit more comfortable. Pressing now, trying to close out this match and get themselves a gold medal. They are on second serve. Let's see if Barnstone can get one stop. And again, we're seeing them, they're speeding it up much sooner than they have been this whole match. And they have themselves a gold medal match point. And they get it done. So. The young men, J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier, are our gold medalists undefeated through their tournament in men's doubles. A big congrats to our silver medalists, Adam Stone and Deckel Barr. We will be back on court with both of our teams when we return. Again, we have our women's gold medal match coming up next, and I will be talking to one of our favorite sponsors here at the tournament day one when we return as well. Don't go anywhere. More action still to come here on Championship Sunday on our ESPN Plus coverage. The PT Pro Team at PickleballTournaments.com have unparalleled experience running tournaments including all professional tours and premier events. We provide professional services to develop, plan, and deliver tournaments that players and fans love. PickleballTournaments.com, powering pickleball tournaments worldwide. I'm so ready for next gen. This is next gen pickleball. I'm so ready for the next gen tour. Super excited about next gen. I can't wait for the APC next gen tour. I'm super excited for next gen. 
Consumer Cellular has the best customer service. They care about the customer. The best price with the best quality. The prices, the coverage. The coverage is great. It was the same, if not better. Consumer Cellular provides the exact same premium coverage as the nation's leading carriers for half the cost. Switch to Consumer Cellular and get talk, text, and data starting at just $20 a month. It's like four scoops of ice cream for the price of one. Switch today and get a 100% risk-free guarantee. Call or go online. I will dig deep. I will crush this game. Athletes know nutrition drives performance. I will not slow down. Superior Lab supplements help you power up and recover faster. I will never surrender. Superior Labs is a proud sponsor of USA Pickleball. here on championship court I have our silver medalist with me Adam Stone and Deckel Barr. Deckel I'll start with you playing against team like JW Johnson and Dylan Frazier you're very familiar with they taken you out in the winter bracket final you get a rematch with them they're just a little too much in that gold medal match what was the difference there right they played very well throughout the whole match uh, we started a bit slow got a little bit back into it in the middle and Unfortunately, he made a lot of errors at the end, too, but kudos to them. They played very well the whole, whole week, so good job. And Adam, it seemed like you had a good game plan against them. You're recognizing them speeding up. You're taking a step off the kitchen line. You give yourself a little more room, but then it seemed like it was just a little too much J.W. Johnson sometimes. No, sure. Uh, yeah, congrats to the kids. They're playing, they're playing really clean and, and really solid right now. Uh, Deckel and I have had a little trouble uh, both playing well at the same time so far this year. Uh, you know, that's, that's pickleball, that's how it goes. Uh, some days you can't miss, some days you can't make it. And uh, looking forward to getting a couple rematches uh, against them uh, later in the year, which I'm sure will happen. And hopefully me and the big man uh, can both play well at the same time and, uh, and get those guys back. All right, well, congratulations to our silver medalists, Deckel Barr and Adam Stone here at the APP Mesa Open. Now we'd like to bring out your 2022 APP Mesa Open gold medalists, Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson. All right, so J.W., I talked to you before the match and I asked you what were your keys to the matches. You said, we're gonna speed the ball up. We wanna play fast against those guys. How'd that game plan go for you? Uh, pretty well, I think. Dylan? 
Dylan, not a man, of, a man of very few words. But again, when I spoke to him, said you guys wanted to play fast. Why is it that you guys think you can play fast against a team like that? Uh, we both just feel pretty comfortable when, the, when, that's, when we're playing quick points, and we both have good hands, and so we want to utilize them. And then at the end there, JW, it looked like you guys had an 8-2, 9-2, and then you just were going all out at that point. Is it something you're comfortable with at the end, you knowing you're up, you want to play fast and force that pressure? Yeah, I mean, if we're up pretty big, I'll just try for um, a lot of risky shots by then. Uh, obviously, if it's closer, I'll play a little more safe. But since we were up, I tried a few more risky shots, and, uh, well, luckily, they worked out. So. All right, well, congratulations again to your gold medalists at the APP Legacy Open. J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier, Ken Herman's going to come out, present you guys with your trophy. Congratulations, boys. We're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, women's pro doubles gold medal match here on Championship Court. Don't go anywhere.